This is an update on the Z Skinny guitar support. This is the guitar support that stays attached to your guitar. Here it is on, on mine here. I've done a full review of the Z Skinny guitar supports before, so make sure you check out the full review. There's a link for that in the description. But this is an update to inform you about some of the design changes to, to the product that the company has been making and just, yeah, some of the innovations they've been doing and improvements to the guitar support, which is really great. It's great to see a company continuing to improve their product. So as you can see here, it is right here. And this guitar support attaches to your instrument with, a, with an adhesive, but it's a removable adhesive, and we'll talk about that in a second. But um, it's, it contours to your instrument so that the guitar support can stay on in the case and it's always on your guitar. It's always ready to be unfolded and then played. And then when you're done playing, all you need to do is fold it back up and it's so contoured to the instrument that almost I would say 95% of the time it's going to fit in your case, unless your case is like super, super snug. But you know, with the foam, like I, I've tried it on multiple instruments now and it always fits in the case. So that's what's so cool about this guitar sport is that of course it, it fits in your case and it stays on your instrument at all times. Like I said, I've reviewed it before. You can check out the past review to, to get more information. Now the improvements on, on the newer models, is um, they're using a different type of tape. It's a gel-based tape, which is easier to remove from your instrument should you take the, the guitar support off. It's meant to kind of stay on the instrument, but of course, maybe sometimes you would take it off. Uh, so a, a new type of gel, and I'll remove this one in a second and just show you the result. Um, they've also increased the, um, the length a little bit of, of the attachment plate. Um, making just a, you know two contact points there and there that will attach to your instrument. And by doing that, they have taken away some of the pressure that would pull on the adhesive. So they've kind of designed it now so that the, the weight of the instrument and the, and the pressure will help the tape actually and the guitar support stay on the instrument. Um, because it's a fine line here, we want it to definitely stay on very securely, but we also want to be able to remove it if we have to. So they've, they've done some improvements to the design to make sure that the, that the um, guitar support is more stable and also helps um, the tape stay on and also um, greatly reduces the amount of tape needed for the guitar support. The past version had quite a bit of adhesive. Um, whereas this has just a little tiny bit. Um, and they've also improved some of the hinges just for durability. So they're just continuing to improve the product and, and move forward with it. So, so that's the updated model. Like I said, check out the past review to you know see how it fits in the case and all those all those details. But that's the idea. You can just start playing. done, yeah, you just fold it up. It's a, it's a really well designed guitar support. It's not for everyone and everyone will have, you know, their own opinion about putting an adhesive on their instrument. Um, but like I said, this is new gel tape base is supposed to be much more, more gentle in that regard. So I just used their um, little wire here to remove the guitar support and so you just put the wire between the guitar support and the adhesive and and remove it um, don't put it next to your guitar that's the trick is put it between the guitar support and the adhesive not it between your guitar because you don't want to scratch your finish and i will confirm that the new tape is much improved like here it is stuck on and i'm i'm ripping it off right now and it just came off and it didn't leave any sticky residue do or anything like that. It was actually really, really great. It just kind of came off. Um, it was, it's pretty intense at first. You have to like put, you know, um, pencils around the end of this wire and like really get the wire in there and then scrape. But like after a second, it kind of just came loose. And then I just peeled this, this tape right off. So came off really nice. This isn't my French polished guitar. This is just a, a Yamaha that I had around. 
But um, yeah, no scratches and um, and no like glue or, or material like that. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that. If you were removing it on your French polished guitar, you would just you would have to be just very careful and do it very slowly. Just have a lot of patience uh, because it, it is a delicate operation when you first start getting the wire in there. It's a little bit scary. But like I said, put it between the guitar support and the adhesive, not your guitar. And then um, just have patience and go slow. Uh, that's That would be my, my recommendation. So with the new tape that they're using and, and the fact that there's way less of the tape involved um, and just how much more easy it was to take off, um, I am much more comfortable with this guitar support. I was pretty comfortable before as well, but, but now I'm much more comfortable with it, especially on like a French polish instrument. It's a little bit safer. If you're going to attach this, you know, there's some risk involved and you have to just accept the fact that it is supposed to be semi, semi permanent on your guitar. So you're supposed to leave it on your instrument. Uh, so, you know, once you've accepted that aspect, um, I would be much more comfortable using the, the, the new model because I, I think that tape is just a lot easier to remove and, and there's so much less of it that I just wouldn't be as concerned if, if, if something went wrong. But yeah, much improved design. I love that they're continuing to work on it because it's a really interesting guitar support and the fact that it can just stay on and stay in your case is just so cool. No more lugging around guitar supports or throwing them in your backpack and all that stuff. It's just on your guitar all the time, uh, which is such a, a cool aspect of the support.